the last open mic of the decade. Of the decade? Of the decade. Of the 2010s. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot more serious. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. So thanks y'all for coming to the Lion and Pirate Open Mic. Ooh, yeah. uh, my name is Eric Clow and I'm from Hot Spark, Texas. shopping, excessive Saturnalia, excessive Baal, excessive Amamon. I go to the Barton Creek Mall and full of Christmas trees with empty castles. Hopes denied. People looking and they don't realise the physics of it. The mathematics show that the whole of space is not full of objects. The whole of space is full of dark space and dark energies. And that's why at this time, solstice coming up, it's dark at night and chill. Have you noticed how the sunshine is artificial? It looks blue, doesn't it? But you go outside there, ooh, okay. Now I'm just saying, I want to be happy. I want to be happy all the time. And people say, you can't be happy all the time. I say, why not? And they say, don't you understand? Look at the government. Look at the economy. Look at the jobs. And I say, why? Why do we look at poetry, music, art, drama, bookstores, happiness, empathy, cooperation, uh, joy? And they say, well, those are redundant. You know, we had the t-shirt, we marched for peace, and now everyone's fighting. They're all withdrawing in their body language, you know, I'm not really here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon, if you dig deep underneath all the callousness and cynicism and, and, and amusement at this holiday season. <laughs> holiday. When you're on holiday all the time, having a holiday <laughs> is very bad because all the normals come out and they're driving like crazy people. And they, it's sort of like gridlock 25 hours a day. So I'm only speaking from my own experience because no one else will. I want to be happy all the time, but I refuse to be happy when I'm told to be happy. When someone says, this is the season you can be happy now. I think, no, I'm going to withdraw and go to a poetry reading with friends where we can simply talk about the vicissitudes of the complex days we find ourselves in now. Now, I know you're all seeking for panaceas to the darkness and despair and depression that is everywhere around you, but you don't have to do that. I always say, turn the turtle over and put it back on its legs, whether it's a terrapin or a tortoise or a turtle. It's the same story. It's not trying to outrun any other animal. The turtle is simply being a turtle. We're on Turtle Island. That is turtles upon turtles upon turtles upon turtles. And we all know, <laughs> you know the story, right? Okay. What else is there? More turtles. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, it is totally possible to defeat other things by not fighting. I'm not going to give any energy to the T word. Cup of tea, yes, but not the tea. I am going to give energy to poetry and clarity and harmony because these things animate and add to our life and it's the only gift we've got at this giving season. So if we can't give ourselves to ourselves, 
What's the point of celebrating?